Leaders are the ones who keep faith with the past, keep step with the present, and keep the promise to posterity. The phenomenon of leadership has been explored by academics and dreamers alike. No matter which society you step foot in, a leader will be among them. In the most basic sense, they are there to fulfill needs, to protect those that follow them, and to promote change when their followers require it. Hello! As my potential future employer, I thought I would share with you what I have come to learn about leadership and about myself through my personal experiences, respected theories on the subject, and inspiring words of wisdom I have taken to heart. Take a look! Growing up as the firstborn in my family, I was always recognized as a natural leader. The responsible one, the smart one, the logical one. My grandma once gave me a magnetic picture frame with my name on it that says, From the delicate flower Alyssum. She is an active and sensitive person who is a natural leader. But why? What did I do to gain such opinions about my character? The trait-based theories of leadership explore this. Defining leadership as a manner of behavior in which those born with a certain set of traits can exhibit it. That leadership was written into their DNA. I wonder now if it was this constant affirmation in my leadership traits that actually caused me to exhibit leadership behavior. When I started college, I began a different leadership journey, taking leadership of my own life. For a while, I felt out of place and disempowered. Iris, in the movies we have leading ladies and we have the best friend. You, I, I can tell, are a leading lady, but for some reason, you're behaving like the best friend. You're so right. You're supposed to be the leading lady of your own life, for God's sake. I attribute two things to helping me through this season in my life. One, Inner Varsity, a student-led Christian organization with the most comprehensive leadership structure any club could offer. I was immediately challenged, empowered, and equipped with tools I needed to discover my own leadership style and began to learn what leadership really meant for life. InterVarsity brought me past my insecurities and self-doubts through community, my co-leaders. By building each other up, we became stronger. All the principles of servant leadership are core to InterVarsity's leadership development curriculum. Listening, empathy, healing, awareness, persuasion, conceptualization, foresight, stewardship, commitment to the growth of people, and building community. Serving in that community as a new leader and eventually president of the organization opened my eyes to new perspectives of leadership and taught me to be a servant leader. And two, studying abroad. My experience traveling to Spain for a semester taught me a great deal when it came to being the leading lady of my own life. It was through this experience that I learned about authentic leadership. For so long, I had been used to leading simply because that's what people expected from me. But I was on my own this time, and it was only what I expected from myself that would matter. Andrew Cohen, an advocate for authentic leadership, said that if we aspire to be an authentic leader, we must always be willing to stand alone, live fearlessly, act heroically, want to be free and true more than anything else, take unconditional responsibility for oneself, face everything and avoid nothing, at all times see things impersonally, and live for a higher purpose. I remember one night getting completely lost in London. I was tired by myself, the sun had already set and my map was falling apart thanks to the constant rainfall. When the moment presented itself for me to totally lose hope and get upset about it, I surprised myself and just didn't. I decided to be okay with it. It was the most freeing feeling. I hope I have been able to demonstrate my personal leadership theory to you, and I've left you with some insight to my values and hopes for the future. I can assure you that my development and personal leadership journey is far from over. I would be honored to take my next steps working with your organization. I have faith in leadership.